Tolapo, congratulations on winning the uh, GLIAC Tournament Championship and making the NCAA Tournament. How excited are you to uh, to play in these games? <laughs> I feel good. I'm, I'm very excited uh, that we got this far and um, we're not done yet. We're trying to, trying to just take it one day at a time and win every game possible and just extend the season for as long as possible. What was that experience like of cutting down the net at the uh, GLIAC Tournament Championship? For me personally, uh, it was a surreal moment just because I started my career out there. So just to be, able to be able to cut down the net at the Barry Event Center well, was, a, was, a, was a goal of mine when I first got there. So just to be able to do it there was, was definitely exciting. A team that's led by a lot of seniors, how does that help your squad as you uh, head into the tournament? Uh, like you said, a lot of seniors were experienced. We've uh, played a lot of college basketball. She played a lot of basketball overall. So I feel like we just, I, we always make fun of me and Jack. I always make, make a joke about combining our powers and just try to put it all together and that's what we're doing right now. So we're just trying to keep doing that and just go as far as possible. And then winning the GLIAC tournament, how much momentum does that give you heading into the NCAA tournament? Not a lot of teams get to go into the tournament coming off of wins and you guys can't. Right, absolutely. That definitely definitely gives us a lot of momentum. We just won, uh, I think, six in a row now. Uh, but one thing we, we've talked about a lot as a team is to, like we celebrate the win, uh, on Saturdays, uh, Sunday, Monday, and now it's like back to business. We're locked in on the next game, and we're just gonna keep that in the back pocket, knowing that we got that, we got that championship. I mean, nobody can take it away from uh, take it away from us. But we're not celebrating that no more. We want the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. So that's the, that's the mindset of the team right now. And then you're facing a team that has gotten the better of you two times. What's it gonna take to kind of get over that hump and beat them? Uh, it's really hard to beat a team three times, and so we're just gonna. Everything, everything we learned from the first two games, we have watched a lot of film. We know the scout in and out. We've played them, like you said, played them twice already. So it's just we're we're definitely prepared for them, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a different turnout.